oh, by the way, I finally gave in to coffee. And it almost got its hooks into me. It almost got its hooks into me. I had, um, I had a cappuccino. Uh, and it was the first cup of coffee I ever drank the whole thing. Because I've always had a few sips and I've just been, that's too bitter. I don't like the shit. I love the smell. And every time I'd go to the airport and I'd see all these fucking people lining up like they're at the meth clinic. I just remember always thinking like, thank God I never, I, I didn't, I've done a lot of dumb shit, but I didn't get into that dumb shit. Well, I was tired, you know, right? that shit after a couple of days and I had a cappuccino and I took that first sip and it was kind of okay. And by the third sip, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I think I get this. And I drank the whole fucking thing. And then the next day, I had another early day, and I fucking drank another one. And the second day, it didn't taste bad at all. It tasted delicious. From the second, it hit my lips like Frank the Tank when he did that funnel, when he funnels those beers in old school, right to the very end. And I was like, oh, my God, I get it. There had to be a reason these people were standing in this line. It has to be that good. Slash, it's an addiction. Um, and then three days in a row, I fought it and I didn't get a cup of coffee and now I don't give a fuck anymore because I was just like, I can't do this. I did this with booze. I did this with weed. I did this with cigars. I don't, I did this with sugar and shit food. I don't need another thing that eventually I'm going to have to quit. So I just walked away and now I've just decided that it's going to be like, something that maybe once or twice a year I'm going to do. Like once a year or something, me and my wife go on vacation and I'll do some mushrooms and I'll smoke a little weed. And then when I come home, that's it. That's it. My kids aren't going to see me fucking walking around. You know, you know, daddy liked his scotch. I'm not going to be that fucking guy. You know, and when my kids ask me, well, they could listen to the podcast. I'm going to be honest with them. You know, dad, have you ever done that stuff? Yeah, I did. And it got out of control. And I fucking hated myself and I did stupid shit. You know, just let you know if that's what you're going to do because I can't stop you from doing it. That's what's going to end up happening. However, you know, I think it was really important for me to be stone sober when I was raising you guys because I didn't want to miss any of it. And I love you guys. All right. So there's that. I mean, other than that, what are you going to do? Um, 